Jesus at Nazareth. We find Jesus today in Nazareth, where he lived in his boyhood. It is the Sabbath day, and he has gone to church, and stands reading to the people from the Bible. He read in the book named Isaiah, read about himself. These are the words. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. When he had read these wonderful words he closed the book, and gave it to the minister, and sat down. All the people looked at him, wondering what he would say. Then he began to talk. He told them that the promises he had been reading to them were fulfilled. All listened and wondered at the tender and beautiful words that he spoke. They whispered to each other, saying, Isn't this Joseph's son? Then he said to them, You will surely remind me of the proverb. Physician Heal thyself. Do some of the wonderful things here that we have heard of you doing in Capernaum. But, remember, no prophet is highly thought of in his own country. Remember that during that time of famine in Israel, when it didn't rain for three years and six months, there were many widows, but the prophet Elijah was sent only to one at Sarepta, a city of Sidon. And there were many lepers in Israel while the prophet Elijah lived there, but Naaman, the Syrian, was the only one that was cured. This preaching made the people angry, and they started up in wrath and thrust him out of their city, and wanted to push him headlong down the hill on the top of which Nazareth was built. But just there he showed his power in passing quietly through the crowd of angry people, holding them back by the power of his gaze, and went away, 